So we just filmed a fun video. I bet you can't guess what it was. <laughs> this video went up on Monday, so by the time you're seeing this, it's already up. It's a good time. I look fantastic. But, yeah. um, I like these to the best. Yes, these kids are in their element. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want to do a challenge video that involves food, grab some kids. <laughs> Hi, hello, happy Thursday. I look great. Uh, so. <laughs> It's four o'clock in the afternoon. I decided to make a trip out of town today. Well, it's not that far out of town, it's just like 20 minutes. To go to Aldi and Walmart and stuff because I needed some stuff at Aldi and Walmart. Didn't get everything I needed because I didn't have everything I needed. I did get gluten-free cookies. How well, that happened. Oh, and I went to Dollar Tree as well. So we did that today. So that's where I am now. I just finished, I'm gonna eat some cookies in the Aldi parking lot. And I'm headed home. Um, so, I came up all the way up here because I was looking for ball pumps for shoe boxes because Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes are due this week and we have a bunch of soccer balls but for some reason I didn't purchase pumps and now I can't find them anywhere for like a reasonable price. So I'm not really sure how, what I'm gonna do about that. Um, <laughs> sorry there was some guy shuffling in the parking lot that was confusing. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I might have to hold off on the soccer balls until I can get more more pumps which is a little disappointing but yeah and then i went to walmart to get to look for some christmas stuff didn't find what i was looking for get, and also get a bunch of gluten-free stuff because they have um like pop tarts and those cheese cracker things those lance cheese cracker things i like and stuff like that and aldi because we needed aldi and then i got some stuff for the food pantry too since i was here um uh, yeah and so that's what's happening um, the kids had gymnastics and swimming this morning so that's why i went this afternoon and then also i'm considering cutting my hair which we might as well have a discussion about that. So I really get annoyed with my hair. It's very long. As you can tell from the vlogs, I hardly ever do anything with it. Recently I've been braiding it because I want it out of my face and it gets tangled, especially in the winter, it gets really tangled with the coats going on and off. It's very long. So I think I'm gonna cut it. I have an appointment to get my hair cut tomorrow and I've been texting my hairdresser being like, cause she's cut my hair twice. Or she cut, <laughs> she's cut my hair twice. She cuts my hair like every six weeks, but she's done a big cut twice cause I grow it out and then donate it. So this would be my third time growing it up and donating it. And I'm so tired of my hair, like, it's annoying me, clearly, because I'm putting it behind me. Like, it's annoying me. But also, like, I don't know why I have, like, an emotional attachment to it. And I know once I cut it, I'll be okay with it. But it's just, like, the idea of cutting it, especially because it's not as long as it was last time when I got it cut, because I only got it cut to here, and I really liked it last time. But I'd have to get it a little bit shorter. Anyway, I was texting her back and forth. She's <laughs> she's like, please cut your hair. Uh, I know I need to I need to just do it but I'm feeling a little bit emotional about it right now <laughs> clearly anyway I'm not sure where I was going with the hair thing other than that's also what's happening in my life didn't I haven't vlogged a lot this week or last week really it's been a busy couple of weeks with the food pantry stuff I don't know if I vlogged about it on Friday but we had our donation from a local business that gives us stuff once a month and we had about twice as much as normal like normally we have a little over a thousand pounds of stuff we had 2,500 pounds of stuff this time. That's a lot of stuff. And so it took us, we were there from 10.30 to 3.30 on Friday, and then someone else came in for four hours, and someone else came in for several, there was a, a lot of it that happened, and it was just finished getting gone through on Tuesday, and then yesterday was food pantry. And the past two weeks of the pantry have been really busy. Um, busier than we anticipated for both weeks so that was a little bit stressful I'm not complaining but it was a little bit stressful and I'm very tired because I during the holiday months I stand the whole time because I'm talking to people I have this holiday checklist thing and so I'm not sitting I'm walking and standing and also trying to like do my normal stuff so it's a little bit stressful so <laughs> I guess that's where my head has been my head has been at the pantry but I realize now I'm, we're one week away from Thanksgiving, so I need to kind of start Thanksgiving prepping. So I got cranberries today. <laughs> Fresh cranberries at Aldi. That's the only thing I've purchased so far for Thanksgiving. All right, anyway, enough of me rambling. I'm gonna go back home and um, figure out dinner, I guess. Shall we begin? <laughs> 